An effective way to mix modified live vaccines is to withdraw the diluent into a multi-dose syringe, then with a clean needle, force the diluent back into the bottle containing the powder, then gently mix the powder and diluent together. Inverting the bottle is a very effective way of mixing. Then with a clean needle attached to the multi-dose syringe, withdraw the mixed product out of the bottle. When you allow some of the product to move back into the bottle, that's also an effective way to continue the mixing process. And then it allows you to uh, remove some air from the syringe and it allows you to draw the product up very effectively into the multi-dose syringe. Once you've withdrawn all the mixed product out of the bottle, remove the air, make sure that your needle is clean and that you are ready to go. Next, we are going to prepare our Clostridial vaccine product. It's always important to put a new fresh needle onto the syringe before inserting it into the bottle of product. That way you prevent contamination of the product and the spread of microorganisms. The syringe can easily be loaded by withdrawing on the plunger in the syringe and pulling the product in. Allowing some product to move back into the bottle is okay. It continues the mixing process and helps with getting air out. Once the syringe has been loaded and all the product is in, it's a good idea to tap the syringe to get some air out and then push on the pistol grip to remove the rest of the air. It's important to keep your vaccines in a refrigerator in our, or in a cooler. Here we have an example of a commercially available cooler. Vaccines are being stored in individual bags, so it's easy to find which product that you're looking for, and they're stored on top of ice packs, not in direct contact with the ice packs. These bags are also handy for carrying extra syringes, and also you'll notice on the end, there's a spot here for maintaining syringes in between animals. You're able to put ice packs in between these two tubular holders. Having a place to store your multi-dose syringes during a processing event is very important. Here we have an example of a homemade box containing ice packs, simply has holes drilled in it, very cheap, very inexpensive to use. What's really important to point out about this box is that the multi-dose guns can be put in horizontally and that way you're less likely to leak out product. It is very important during a processing event to keep your growth implant needles as clean as possible. Here's an excellent example of a clean and well-maintained uh, sterilizing unit.